Hello everyone, today we are going to talk about uh, EOS mainnet launch. Uh, so this video is going to cover what you should expect uh, on June 2nd or rather starting from June 1st. What is happening if you are a EOS token holder and if you're not a trader, you're investing in it for long term. What do you expect and what will it mean for you as an investor? So. I think we have done a lot of videos. Uh, we already talked about uh, EOS uh, ERC token. So whatever you buy today on the exchanges, that is a ERC20 token. So they will be frozen on June 1st and they will not be tradable after that on any exchange or you cannot withdraw them or convert them into Bitcoin or any other currency. They will all be frozen and what you need to do is uh, you need to get the actual EOS mainnet tokens and we have talked about it in different videos um, that you need you can either leave them on exchanges which support the swap and that is Binance, Bitfinex, a lot of other exchanges that have supported that and I believe it's a, such a big uh, coin that almost all exchanges will support it. The other thing is if you want to own your own token we have done a video on that and uh, you can do it you can register your tokens and you will own your own EOS public and private key. Then uh, we talked about a few other things uh, like you can do if you're using Exodus wallet, they have an automatic uh, registration, they will generate a public and private key for you for EOS and hopefully they will support EOS wallet later on. Now, one thing which uh, you need to, uh, I'm going to talk about is US block producers because uh, for understanding rest of this presentation and uh, what is happening on June 2nd you need to have a little bit of background so US is uh, going to be running 21 main uh, nodes so you can say there will be 21 nodes which are called block producers and they will be so it's not a mining based uh, token this is more of a proof of stake uh, uh, delegated proof of stake based network and you need to understand that this 21 block producers have to start the network on the day when the mainnet launches. And uh, we have talked about it earlier um, that 15% votes have to be casted to really officially confirm this 21 block producers. And uh, they will be responsible for running nodes, providing resources, and uh, ultimately they will form a community which uh, represent your EOS as a project and they will be issuing your US tokens um, over a wallet or they will they will be responsible for creating wallets, they will be responsible for uh, all the future activities. Now, uh, each US token holder, if you are one of the token holders, you can vote up to 30 uh, block producers and based on that, uh, if 15% votes are received, for 21 block producers, they will be selected as uh, block uh, the official network. A quick note on what is the difference between mining versus uh, uh, the proof of stake. So EOS has equal 21 nodes, as you can see in this diagram. If you compare it with Ethereum or Bitcoin, so if you're already familiar, they anybody can mine it, you can start it at your home. But today the situation is because of the big mining pools and big uh, companies who are doing mining, it has become an uneven system because it depends on what is your computing power. So if you see Ethereum is and not a lot of big pools are there. Uh, you can see four of the mining pools or five of the mining pools are controlling almost 80% of uh, the mining. Same for Bitcoin, there are six or seven mining pools which control almost everything. So even though I have complained about Ripple in my videos or I always say that uh, it's not decentralized and uh, some people are complaining that EOS is not decentralized. But ultimately, uh, this is a fair number, the 21 nodes running, and it's a very democratic process of choosing. Every uh, two minutes and six seconds, you can vote block producers out. And uh, that is uh, what is the power of EOS. And uh, so it's ac it's actually much better than what is happening in Ethereum and Bitcoin world, which are, ac which are supposedly decentralized, but they are very much... Uh, centralized because of this mining pools. Now, okay, coming back to what we are, we were talking about. So now just, if you understand block producers, you understand uh, what is uh, e EOS token going to be look like. Now let's understand step by step what is going to happen. So on June 2nd, 2018, um, this is 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, the snapshot will be taken. So that is one day after 
the ERC20 tokens are locked. Um, so they will take this uh, uh, and because there will be some tokens which are still being issued if you know that EOS uh, ICO is still going on and it's ending on June 1st. So after that they are going to um, some of the people will be receiving their tokens on the last day so they are waiting for 24 hours and then the snapshot will be taken um, after the freezing and then 21 appointed block producers so what I mean by appointed because to even to start the voting and start the network you first need to have somebody starting this uh, process and that is what block.1 is doing they are going to appoint 21 block producers to start the network then of course others can join the, as a backup block producers and when the network is up and running there will be a voting and they can replace themselves this block producers can actually replace themselves if they are not selected and uh, the, new, uh, the new block producers will take their place and uh, so this is the how it is going to go so there will be a 21 appointed uh, block producers and the goal will be to enable us chain and get a official status uh, established now what can be issues which can happen there, there may be some problems in sync between the nodes if they have not taken the snapshot properly some people may be in a hurry to do it or some people may are, take a wrong snapshot it's ultimately a code which each of these block producers are running some of them are pretty good which i'm seeing in terms of uh, their proposals their experiences but uh, and i'm sure block.1 will select some good uh, block producer to start the network but overall you cannot uh, rule out uh, any basic issues and of course there can be hackers who are trying to bring down the network they might try to join the ceos uh, as a block producer you don't know how many of these are actual um, genuine block producers versus others now what you need to know as a token holder if you are just an investor not interested in technical details these are the things i would like to highlight there will not be any EOS wallet. Uh, if you think that, uh, what I mean is, in till the network is established, until the um, the we are ready to see that what is the actual block producer look like, EOS um, chain is launched. After that, you can talk about wallets because before that, it doesn't even mean anything because EOS doesn't exist, and you cannot have a wallet and you cannot access your tokens. And let's say. Uh, the block producers are already ready and they are doing the uh, perfect job of starting a network within one or two days uh, while technically it can take weeks but I'm if we are being very hopeful and within two days let's say the US uh, mainnet is established uh, which is possible because of the kind of community they are building even after that all the tokens are going to be locked for three days as uh, the by definition all the tokens are staked but what, what does that mean? That means that uh, you're, you have already staked your tokens to start the, um, the EOS mainnet and you need to unstake them. Uh, and this is going to be the process whenever you do voting, like if you are interested in voting for block producers, if you want to participate in this process, or if you are actually using EOS mainnet for doing your own dApps, then you will be actually staking your tokens. But as a, at a starting point, uh, even as an investor all your tokens are automatically staked and if the wallet is launched I'm assuming there will be a functionality in the wallet to unstake your tokens and uh, so once the wallet is available you will download you have to make sure that you are not getting any wrong um, fake wallets that is something you need to worry about because uh, there will be a lot of hackers who will try to steal your US private key so you have to wait for an official word from US community and we will talk about it in June uh, how it will work out we will make sure that we inform you on any risks which may come up at that time but what I'm trying to tell you here is that if, if everything is clear we know that there is an official wallet started by community even after that you will have to wait for three days after the launch and after the wallet is available where you will have to unstake and then they will free up for trading so in best case scenario it will be a few days or maybe few weeks when these EOS tokens will be uh, you can sell them or buy them in the new network. Now this is the case when you are very closely following the community you are using the official wallets and so on. On parallel if you have left your tokens in, on um, the exchange the exchanges have to make sure they implement integrate the new wallets uh, they have even more stringent procedures to validate 
and it may take much longer so if you are on binance and if you have your tokens there i personally don't think that it will take it will be before a month almost or end of june um, that they can really make it tradable um, because that's uh, only after everything is clear everything is stable and then they go through their own process of uh, validating uh, that these wallets are working for them doing some testing and then they will release it now this is something which is uh, i'm sure many of you are not ready for because it's first time you're seeing such a scenario um, so you need to understand that there is no you can uh, you need to be in the eos for a long time and not worrying about what happens to the market in the meantime what is the going to be the value it will be very difficult to say what will be the new value or new dollar value of this new s tokens then finally uh, we always talk about the value of us as airdrops also because there are a lot of projects launching the the basic technology and the us token will have value because of the platform it provides but also there are a lot of airdrops coming from the d apps which are being already announced on top of eos they want to contribute to the community and that is one way of uh, getting some benefits out of eos as an investor so first of all you need to understand that eos mainnet has been confirmed by block.1 that there will only be one mainnet which will be supported by community which will be, will be recognized as eos so your erc20 token will automatically convert to mainnet if you have registered your eos key if you have not registered you are almost losing it um, especially if you hold it in your private wallet i'm sure they will figure out a way of uh, later on uh, allowing those tokens to be swapped because a lot of people may lose their tokens in this way but just to be safe make sure you are registered or leave those tokens in your exchange which is supporting the swap this is the most important thing because most of the value of current eos tokens will be transferred to this eos mainnet token while it happens there can be multiple private chains which eos is a software which is a open source software anybody can pick it up and start their own eos chain they may or may not honor the eos token holders like if you invested in the erc20 token there is no um, reason they have to give you the new uh, chain token the, I, i'm talking about the private chain which are not community supported which are not uh, defined as official eos or on the other hand some of them can be saying okay we didn't get selected as 21 block producers we, we are still interested in running eos or maybe eos2 or whatever they call themselves um, just like we had bitcoin and bitcoin cash fork there is always it's a so open source projects can always fork and uh, there can always be multiple eos chains um, and just to get some credibility and some recognition they may give you tokens so that will be additional benefit if uh, eos becomes big enough but as we know within the us uh, definition we have been sharing some of the details uh, on our facebook page and um, in other videos eos is very robust interchain communication also and they may actually create multiple chains within the mainnet so it's going to be interesting how it evolves but as a token holder what you need to know is that um, you need to understand that your registered token will get automatically converted and you should keep your eos key safe and then there are many projects which are going to use eos snapshot from june 1st which is the existing erc20 wallet snapshot um, and uh, they will be distributing their new tokens in that uh, based on that uh, snapshot and some other projects have already talked about 15th june or end of june as dates they're assuming that on a certain date the new eos chain will be ready they will be able to take snapshots and directly distribute tokens on eos uh, chain itself and uh, there will be a lot of projects coming we are expecting thousands of millions of projects in next couple of years uh, as us takes off and uh, most of these to i think uh, will give some uh, airdrops on eos chain so ultimately this is uh, going to happen once we the mainnet launches the good thing is there there are no more airdrops uh, being added to erc20 because i don't think that's going to be a good idea for most of the d apps as um, there will be more and more uh, uh, trading happening uh, towards end of may before this mainnet launches so this is uh, a few things i wanted to talk about again i will go back to important things to know you need to understand that uh, this is not going to be easy waiting for what the us price will look like when no exchange is trading them 
uh, there will be a lock-in period there will be uh, some kind of issues which may come up there can be a hack there can be a lot of uh, issues which may show up when you are uh, trying to figure out what happened to the mainnet launch so we will keep track on it we will keep updating uh, one thing i would like to highlight is uh, in those days when the mainnet launches there will be a lot of hackers trying to pose as official eos they will say that oh if you click here enter your private key if you want to uh, get your eos tokens be very careful don't enter your private key anywhere make sure that uh, you wait for official information it once you have the us tokens registered and you are in the part of the snapshot on june 1st you can take any amount of time and you will not lose your tokens unless you make a mistake of entering your private key to the uh, to a wrong site so the blockchain has your information you have everything you need and don't be in a hurry to control your tokens to try to access your new eos wallets wait for clarifications wait for issues to clear out and uh, that is the most important thing uh, you need to know because uh, there in a crypto world there have been cases where people have used these uh, key events to really uh, hack into your keys or uh, making you enter these keys by creating an urgency and that is something which i would like to say uh, we will keep emphasizing again and again in our videos and uh, as we share more information about eos thanks for joining once again and uh, please subscribe to our channel we will be sharing more and more information on eos and other uh, crypto world news um, please send us feedback in comments or in our facebook page thanks a lot for joining bye bye